Welcome back once again to this week's analysis. For the last couple of weeks, we have been bearish on gold, including last week, which our analysis actually played out before we went bullish. But as you can see on this weekly time frame, we have actually closed last week with a strong um, bullish engulfing candle right here. So we are going to analyze what we may most likely be seeing next week. All right. So if I go to the daily time frame, you already know that I've been predicting a bearish um gold until we come into this zone which has actually played out and we're hoping that price may most likely take out this zone below and trade into here but let's go to the four hour time frame and put things into perspective on this one now on the four hour time frame remember last week our price was trading around here and i was of the opinion that price should pull back into this zone before we sell off into the zone though we did so going into next week we may come back into this region here which is 2324 region before we continue selling off though we didn't actually come into that zone but we came close before we now saw this bullish push to the upside now if next week kicks in and we are still going to trade to the downside then we have to be patient for price to break below the 2283 region then come back for a retest which will go to the, a much lower time frame to capitalize on the bearish move into the weekly demand level you can go to the weekly time frame and look at that demand level or revisit last week's video where i said that all right but since we closed last week with a bullish price action so price may be headed into this supply region here so um we if we, if we want to buy into that supply region then we want to see price create a new higher high breaking above this zone then probably giving us a pullback which we're going to switch to a much lower time frame and capitalize on the next move to this zone all right it's just a short move but it's a good good move for next week if it plays out so the target is going to be the bullish target is going to be 2371 area all right so that is my bias on gold going into next week we only buy when we see a new higher high created then we catch it on the pullback then we only sell after when price breaks below 2283 region now that is that for gold now before we go to our next charts which is dxy first of all we want to look at the economic news event lined up for next week using fastbull.com all right fastbull.com has been a huge help in my analysis right i get to see the fundamentals and i get to see technicals too as a matter of fact there are so many things you can do on fastbull you can look at news events if you're looking for signals you can actually assess signals here if you want to take their signals and all of that of course risk management should be applied then you want to look at further analysis you know it's going to help sharpen your fundamental skills all right so you want to come here and look at every important news event there is and uh, they, they also have a 24 7 news event even during the weekend we see economic news events being published 24 7 so you can visit that hub but what we want to do here is to visit the economic calendar right so that we can see the fundamentals we have lined up for next week so i'm just going to click next week here and then i'll start with monday which is june the 17th so we have a red folder news event that's a three star high impact news event um, regarding manufacturing index then on tuesday this is what we have lined up you know we have the australian news event but as you already know my major focus is always on the u.s um, news event so what do we have on thursday on thursday we have uh, unemployment claims and all of those good stuff so keep an eye on your economic calendar so that you stay informed now another beauty about using fastball is you can actually set a lot so if you forget it's going to alert you just by clicking on this bell icon here in front of the news you want to get alerted on so click on that and create the alert all right you could set how many minutes you want to get alerted and all of those good stuff so once you're done just click on create and you see successfully created so you'll be alerted based on the time frame you actually want to be alerted the good thing about fastball also is that it gives you a detailed analysis of the news event you are looking at let's take for instance the initial job claims here so if i click on view i can see a table 
that shows me the employment rate year by year all right you can see we have one year here we have two years we have five years all right now this is representing people this number here is representing people as you can see it's right there easy to understand easy to see so here you can tell that the last employment claims the actual was if you hover your mouse here you can see 242,000 all right very close to 250,000 um employment right so just go there and and um, play around study how these things move it is so rich in information and it's going to help you as a matter of fact within next week i'm going to be releasing a video on how if you don't know how to plot support and resistance level how you can use fast bull to plot responsive support and resistance level so um watch out for that video so for those that may not know how to plot a solid support and resistance level watch out for that video that video is going to be dropping within the week all right so now that we've seen what is happening on our economic calendar which you should keep an eye on on fast bull the link is going to be in the description below and the link to also download the app is also going to be in the description below so now that we've seen what is happening here let's go back to our analysis and look at the us dollar which is the dollar index now last week on the dollar index i was of the opinion that price may continue price should continue trading into this zone before we find enough momentum to be to trade to the upside if you miss that here is the video then on the four hour time frame we want to be able to identify the, where the pullback may most likely come into before we continue bullish and that is why i have this region here on the four hour time frame so i like to see price pull back into that zone before we take off so welcome back guys you can see price pull back into that zone before buying off but initially as a matter of fact to be honest i actually said from here i'd like to see that pull back before we buy off or for price to break above here give it a retest and continue higher but as a matter of fact we saw we experienced we, we experienced crazy swings in the market last week you will bear me witness i really didn't like the move of last week even though price respected my zone i still didn't like the swings i was confused myself like what's going on i mean look at the impulsive move to the downside before we now continued higher i was so confused right but before we talk about the four hour time frame let's look at the weekly time frame so on the weekly time frame analysis i'm not even going to say much here just let's quickly revisit what i've been saying for the past couple of weeks or specifically last week now on dxy if you've been following my analysis for the past couple of weeks remember when price dropped into this region about three weeks ago i was particular that we are still in an uptrend right we have a high a higher low a new higher high so until we have a weekly candlestick break below this trend line and closes below this zone that has been tested multiple times we are still bullish so welcome back guys you can see that price is still playing in our direction even through the crazy swings that happened last week price is still trading in our direction and i am still bullish on us dollar as we speak now back to the four hour time frame we are beginning to see a kind of weakness so that's just a mere pullback at least that's i'm not saying it's guaranteed because price has been crazy for the past couple of weeks i just hope and pray we don't break back below the zone but for now i have to focus on what is right in front of me so i just want to i want to assume that price is coming back into this and demand level to find enough momentum to now eventually push back to the upside remember my overall target remains 107.091 if you squeeze your chart left you can use historic price data to gauge that target all right so that is that on us dollar now let's look at the euro now the euro also last week which is the only currency pair i trade it was crazy right price was trading around here last week and i was of the opinion that price will either break below here and trade into this downside or give us a pullback into here before we completely sell off but look at what price did price just went straight down to our target initial target now went back to the zone i was actually expecting price to pull back into last week which i said in this video i would like to see price pull back into certain areas of value maybe around here so if we continue higher initially for next week i would like to see price come into this 1.0837 area before we sell off so welcome back guys you can see price eventually came into that zone and sold off significantly now that this is what is happening right now now that this is our current reality because i really didn't like the move last week like i said earlier i really didn't like the crazy swings i got confused at some point what exactly is going on until i now saw this solid rejection so now i would like to see price pull back into this area which is the 
1.0727 area before we move into this target and if we break below that target our overall target is all the way down here all the way down here which is around um, 1.04880 all right how did i come about that target it's on the weekly time frame actually you can notice that price is creating lower lows lower highs and it is pointing downwards so my target is here all right that's my overall bearish target for now so let's go back to the four hour time frame so i'd like to see a pullback into this region like i said on the four hour time frame then price should hopefully fall into this region which is 1.06 five two three if we can take that out then our next target is my overall target which is 1.04862 all right so i'm not seeing any bullish scenarios right now except the market decides to go crazy again next week but well for now i am bearish if the market decides to go bullish again then maybe we realign ourselves with the bullish side of things all right now next on my list is gbp usd gbp usd just like other um, dollar pairs was crazy last week now i'll go to the 15 minutes time frame first of all to point out the initial move that played out before the crazy move started happening so um price was trading around here we are we are we are we are around here last week right and i was of the opinion that price will pull back into this zone then we'll sell off into this region before hopefully we continue to the downside i never knew that there's something crazy going to happen but if that was what you looked out for of course you made money this is the video where i actually said that let's say we kick off next week and price wants to initially make a pullback before we continue bearish so i'd like to see price pull back into this region all right this would be a good place to catch a trade let's see on the 15 minutes time frame we want to catch a trade here before you sell into here welcome back guys so you can see it played out before everything went nasty everything went berserk right so if we go back to the four hour time frame you can notice how price faked out this zone creating a new higher high confusing everybody i was actually thinking that price was coming back here to retest young before we go back up it happens to the best of us too so yeah you'll be wondering why am i confused yeah because uh, the price was just acting crazy which happens sometimes in the market we cannot escape that we'll see this many of the times right but now the price is down here so this is what i'll be expecting it looks like we've gone back for a retest but i'll be expecting price to range around here for a bit maybe give a little bit of manipulation i can't say but the bottom line or what i'm trying to say right now is i'm expecting price to eventually make its way into this target here which is um around 1.26488 all right so if we can take that out then my next target is actually here right that's that has been one of my long-term targets so my next target if we continue lower is 1.25904 and if we take that out then we have a long way to the downside i mean let's focus on a week by week price action because as a matter of fact this is a weekly analysis not a monthly not a yearly right i only i come here every week to tell you my weekly bias for the incoming week so that is what i am looking at on gbp us they are more bearish than bullish so if you see anything bullish next week well if there's a good trading opportunity to realign yourself with the bullish move then you can do that all right it's not wrong to have a bias my bias right now is a sell so don't blame me now the last on my list for this week is euro jpy euro jpy last week i was bearish to this trend line if you remember well if you forgot let me refresh your memory let's go back to what i said last week and so but even if price is going to continue bearish we may just come tap into this trend line that has been tested multiple times historically so welcome back guys so price has actually made its way into this trend line now what next what next what what next we may continue lower remember based on my last week's analysis i say yeah price could still break below that trend line then come here before we go bullish because we are in an upward trend right so come here that has been tested multiple times before we continue bullish just in case that's what is about to happen but i will only be crazy bearish only when price takes out this price region here which is around 163.922 so what i mean is i'll only be crazy bearish if price can take out that zone properly come back to retest that zone properly before we now sell off into this obvious zone here which is 153.280 now if that happens we could now go back to being bullish again overall from the higher time frame perspective but for now 
I really don't know what to say on Euro JPY. I think I'll just go to the four hour time frame on this one. Remember this daily zone, this pink zone above, right? So if price is actually willing to respect this lower trend line, like we rightly predicted last week, so I'd like to see price continue upward. Within this zone, I will do nothing. Within these two trend lines, I will do nothing. I'll actually wait for price to break above this upper trend line, not because just for the sake of it, just break above a trend line and now the trend has changed. All right, no. We are actually factoring in market structure. So the idea here is when we break above the trend line, we are not just going to get in. No, 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 no. That's the wrong way to do that because break in uh, a trend line breakout are not um, signals enough to start trading. No, many people make um, look at it the wrong way. Once you just break a trend line, you want to take the opposite direction. No, that's a recipe for disaster. You want to factor in, all, you want to bring in other factors like market structure, change in market structure, right? Now we are kind of bearish on this four hour time frame. But if we can now break out of this upper trend line, creating a new higher high, which is a break in structure. Now we want to see a pullback into the, that structural level. Now we can now continue trading so the upside using the higher time frame as our target you know how to do it. if you don't know how to do that then you need to take our mentorship program so that is those are my bearish and bullish buyers on euro jpy going into next week so time will not permit me to go on and on if you are yet to subscribe please do so if you are yet to like this video please do so and if you disagree with any points of my analysis also constructively leave your comments in the comment section down below i wish you a successful trading week and watch out for that fast bull video on how to plus support and resistance level next week